What's up guys, it's Ryan Share here with PCDJ DEX 3.5.5. This is the latest iteration of our flagship DJ software for mixing all types of media. Today I'm going to demonstrate a new feature found in the 3.5.5 update that is key detection for harmonic mixing. This is going to allow you to scan your files either by just simply loading them to the DEX, it'll automatically calculate key, or you can analyze your entire library, single songs at a time, using the analyzation feature. Now the first thing you're going to want to do to make sure that key detection is turned on is click the options button found in any of the DEX3 skins. This is the simple 2DEX skin. It's located in the top right corner of your screen. Click options. From the preferences menu under the general tab, you'll find the new setting located at the very bottom here. It says detect musical key. So you're just going to make sure this is ticked. Put a tick in the box if it's not. And hit exit. So you'll notice now that uh, you've turned it on, if you load a track to the deck, this is a track that has never been loaded previously, so it's going to load it, it's going to analyze it upon loading, it's going to calculate your beats per minute, and it's also going to display your key. So you've got your key field here. Now, key detection in DEX3 is going to produce two keys, or two different keys. You've got your modified Camelot scale key, which is before the slash, as you can see here now in the library, now that this file is scanned. And after the slash is going to be your musical key. So once you've got your key, obviously, the whole point of this is so that you can mix songs harmonically, mix them on key so you don't have harmonic clashes or clashing melodies. A lot of big name DJs have already adopted this for some time, and now we've brought the key detection for harmonic mixing to DEX 3.5.5. Obviously, if you load the into the deck, it's going to scan for key there. You can also use the analyzation feature. Now, if you analyze your tracks without that checked off in options, you're just going to get BPM. So make sure that musical key or the musical detection right here, detect musical key, is turned on. And if you scan a single track, which you can do by just right-clicking on a song, use analyze, it's going to scan that track. It's going to kick out the BPM and the musical key when it's done, as you can see right here. So you can do your entire list. Obviously, you can use the shift select method. Just highlight the top track, highlight the last. If you right click and say analyze, it's only going to analyze the tracks you've highlighted. If you want to highlight or rather scan your entire list that you're in or the database or any list, you can simply right click in here and choose Analyze All. Analyze All will just go through and detect key of all the tracks with what it, within the list that you're in. So once you've got your key, you can actually search by specific keys. And the way you would do that in DEX3 is in the search box, type a K before your search and the key you want to look for. So as you can see, if I'm looking for the key of A, there you go, you can do BM and it'll bring up the key of the track. So that's handy if you're mixing a certain track and you want to go ahead and find a song in a similar key. You can search for it, load it to the other deck. Obviously that allows you to create more, you know, mashup style mixing where it sounds like the songs are made for each other. The melodies blend well, so everything sounds so much more seamless in the mix. Uh, we're going to have some more advanced tutorials with using key detection and key mixing. Uh, this is just to show you the basics. If you have any questions today, please leave them in the comments section below this video. Thanks.